How's everybody doing today? Hi, Maiden. Uh-oh, I forgot to schedule this on YouTube. So we'll give people a few minutes to get in here, get joined up. Um, I feel like an idiot. Sometimes these kind of things happen, uh, but oh well, kind of is what it is, right? Just going to wait for people to come and hang out. We're going to be working on the ammo can build one more time today um hilariously and i love how these things work out the actual container that we wanted to use for this which was a really big pelican style case from harbor freight went on sale last weekend so i have one of those too but that is a build for another time that one we might just be like a uh channel only thing i don't i don't know i don't know but, uh, yeah, I feel like a ding-dong because, you know, mistakes happen and hopefully we'll get some people here to hang out with us today. We're going to be working on the can. The idea for the can today is I want to get all the hard parts done. Um, if we can, we can. If we can't, we can't. Because uh, my plan is next week and between now and then I got to learn a little bit of circuitry. But next week I want to get the circuit stuff done. So, that is the overall plan. We will see if uh, my design skills want to cooperate with me today. I did a couple of things off camera, but I have rolled all of it back. So, I should be able to do it pretty easily while you guys are here hanging out with me today. Let's see. We're just kind of waiting for people to join. It doesn't look like we're going to have a lot of people today because, well, I screwed up. Uh, is what it is, man. So we're just going to keep on chugging. All right. Uh, let's go over to little Grant and, I don't know, let's just get started. What the hell? Let's do it. Alrighty, so this is where we ended last week, uh, and if you guys missed that, go check it out. I always ride the struggle bus a little bit. It, I, I don't think it would be a live stream if I didn't ride the struggle bus a little bit. I will hopefully remember better next time. It's been a whirlwind of chaos here uh, just to get kind of everything set up and working. Um, we're, we have people leaving. We got people coming in. Uh, I've got more doctor's appointments, so things have been a little bit crazy here, so guys, forgive me a little bit on that. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just get into this. So, uh, where we left off last week, for those that are just joining us, we built, we built our ammo can. Um, and this was based on estimates, so here's the fun thing. There is no easy way to measure this because, like most injection molded parts, it is drafted. And a draft angle basically means that at the top of a cavity, it is wider than it is at the bottom. And that enables injection molding to actually work, right? When you imagine there's a block that has to go inside of the ammo can, and if it is exactly fit and the edges are straight, it will create a vacuum. But if the edges are drafted a little bit, as soon as it pulls out a little bit, air can rush in and the thing can just pop right out. That's why draft angles exist. That's why your red solo cups are drafted the way that they are. Uh, or angled is another way of describing it. But without cutting one of these things apart, which I don't really want to do because there's like no point in ruining one. Um, we took some basic measurements using some big calipers to find out our overall wall thickness. Now that we know our overall wall thickness, we were able to take measurements for the top and the bottom and design things to fit. Now, the cool thing about 3D printing is this doesn't have to fit right the first time. It's a very, very easy thing for us to reprint. But what we're likely going to end up doing is printing out a small section of it, fitting it, making sure that everything works. And if it does, then we will go ahead and move forward, but not until that point. So, alrighty. Um, 
The thing that we left off with on last week that I realized I was a ding dong on is that this does not actually touch the sides. And unlike uh, the board game Operation, we want to touch the sides on this or get very, very close. Um, so let's work on that. So let's let's take a look and we're still waiting for people because I'm a ding dong and Nobody got notified of the live stream, but that is okay I'm still gonna work whether or not people are here because what I do with these live streams, I'm just slotting off time in my calendar and it literally says live stream nope on it Which means nobody can schedule time with me during this So let's get ourselves a brand new sketch. We're going to use this and we want to project we want to project, preferably, this edge, this edge, and that edge. That's what I want to project. Let's see if we can do it. Absolutely, friggin lootly we can. We need a line to come straight across here. And uh, I'll have it connect in. Beautiful. We're going to make it horizontal because... Failed to resolve. Try to mention your constraints. Ah, well, I can see that we have a perpendicular constraint right there, which is what we do not want. We want to get rid of that, so goodbye, Mr. Bond. We want it to be horizontal because then it will line up with the rest of what we have. We're going to go ahead and finish the sketch because that's honestly all that we need. Um, you know what? Actually, let me... Hmm. Yeah, let me, let me do an offset. I, I want to offset this and... Oh, you're gonna be a pain in my booty, aren't you? All right. What's the right way to do this then? Because it's a line, so when you offset a line, it's gonna try to turn itself into... Well, you know, let's just try it. Let's just try it. This is not how I did it last time. I, I did it as, as zero tolerance fits. And, you know, it's like, uh, you realize maybe you shouldn't have a zero tolerance fit. That might not be a great idea. So let's do another offset of this line. Yeah, see, 0.15. Eh. Good, good enough, good enough. All right, what we'll do is we'll have, uh, you know, that, mm, that might work. Let's see, let's see. Cause I want it to have a little bit of wiggle room and I think 0.15 is probably where we want it to be. We're going to create a sweep here, and it's uh, we're going to select this path. And yes, it worked exactly the way I wanted it to. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. I want that to be my sweep. What we can do is we can kill the analysis, and that will let us see it. Do we have it going all the way around? You bet your keister we do. Look at that. No, turn your analysis back on, Grant. Beautiful. Now, of course, it's going to leave us with a bit of a gap on the bottom. Uh, I don't really care about that. I want to make sure that it, it fits, right? I want to make sure that it fits left and right. That's more of my concern. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and join it, but before we do that, we want to make sure that we remove the actual ammo box Because what's going to happen is that it's going to try to join all of these bodies together that are touching We don't want that to occur So we want to remove the ammo box because all we want to do is we want to have this go on to the actual uh, Well body 11 in this case Beautiful so this is the, I don't know, Osmo X6, yeah. except it's X8 Grant, jeez, there we go, Osmo X8, and that can be what we're looking at. Now we do have some sketches that I don't think we need to see anymore. This is the, that's our side profile, hopefully I will remember what I meant by that, and if I don't. I don't. <laughs> uh, alrighty, so let's just rip through it. I'm bummed. I totally forgot to schedule this live stream on our YouTube channel, which means 
We might not get any people, but that is okay. Uh, so we got that main angled part done. So when we look at the ammo box, we have a very, very slight gap. That is okay. Again, that is intentional. That is not a bug. That is a feature. Um, and that will hopefully enable us to give a little bit of wiggle room for when the Osmos go in. Um, now, what I need to now do is deal with um, the circuit board. So, I made a bit of an uh-oh last time, and we need to remedy that problem. That problem was, I built this sketch, and I extruded it, but I want to have an overall cover on all of the circuit boards. The reason that I want to do this is that I want all the wiring to be hidden. I don't want it to have any potential issues of, uh, you know, arcing out or anything like that. And if we sandwich it between pieces of 3D printed plastic, it should make our lives a little bit easier. Uh, my phone keeps going off, so give me just a second to make sure that it's not like someone getting hyper upset with me. Because, I mean, you know, it happens. <laughs> Uh, but let's see what we got going on here. Just checking. Everything seems to be copacetic, so let's just move forward. Now that we can see our edge, and it's kind of an odd edge because of that line, but that's all right. Um, we need to actually cut our model. Uh, I do want to find where that was. It was here. I am going to actually suppress this, which is what we want to do. Hey, Allison, how you doing? Sorry about uh, forgetting to schedule this so people were notified. Oops. Happens. My father sent me something. Give me just a second. I just, you know, whenever your dad sends you stuff, you want to make sure that you can look at it. Apparently, it's not going to load on my phone, so. Just checking... Oh, it's a PDF file. Give me just a second. I gotta see what was sent. And of course, my whatever my dad just took is a test. Uh, yep, got 100%. That's my dad. That's my dad for you. And if you want to learn more and meet my dad, uh, Dr. Kenneth Posner... Uh, you can check out our uh, Father's Day special episode on the podcast where he came and hung out with us. Uh, but, all right, let's... So what I want to do is I want to split this... Um, I want to split it up because, again, I, I want to sandwich the boards together. For those of you that are just joining us, we are finishing up the ammo box uh, hard parts today, hopefully... And uh, then we're going to roll into circuitry next week, which if you like watching me ride the struggle bus, you're going to really enjoy next week because I am very much concerned that I'm not going to do a very good job on it. Oh, hi, Dad. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I'm, gla I'm glad you're enjoying your lunch. <laughs> oh, all right, let's... Um, all right, so 10 millimeters is going to be a lot of space. But I think 10 is probably where I want it to be. Uh, well, you know, if I do it at 10, that's really thick. Let's do it at 6. We'll do it at 6. We're going to split the body, and then we're going to start carving out everything on the interior. Uh, and We are going to expand this up some. That way we have more room. So we're going to go to Modify Split Body. So this will allow us to take the body that we're currently looking at and splitting it. We're going to click on that body itself. We're going to grab our splitting tool, which is going to be that offset plane that I just made. Okay, so offset plane where I want it to be. Now I'm going to cut it like we're playing Fruit Ninja. So let's go ahead and get that done. We got that body cut, and now we can see we have two individual bodies. It's like the name is exactly what it does. And because I want the bottom to be flat, we're going to go ahead and actually uh, hide it. So this, let me bring back the ammo box so I know what's the top and what's the bottom. Uh, so this is our Osmo X8 bottom. 
that's going to be useful for us when we are looking to actually put stuff together because there's going to be assemblies coming soon we're going to hide this construction line because it's just not important to us anymore we're going to hide our ammo box and we're going to hide our bottom we do need to bring back this actual component because again we want to um utilize all of this so let's do that we can now do our extrude which will be here 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 and here and we have to go six millimeters now we can do an offset plane and we can offset it by that six millimeters which is probably the easier way to do it so offset it by six millimeters and we're going to go in three now that's going to get us very very close to our top edge that's okay we're going to show you a way to fix that in just a second first thing we got to do is get our pieces cut out and that's what we're going to do here so we got we have our pieces cut just like this uh, now i could leave these pins i have a feeling that we might end up doing that but i can come back and change that later on it is no big deal okay now we're going to get rid of the analysis so we can see the entire board. Bringing back this sketch will be useful because now we are going to go ahead and mirror. And we want to mirror a feature. Features are important. So we're going to mirror this feature and the mirror plane. Did I make the right plane? No, I didn't. Dang. Is my origin one of the right ones? It should be. Yes. Okay, cool. Beautiful. I am... Sometimes you get disoriented using uh, one of these things. Oh, it's going to, like, mirror mirror. Now, why are you going to do that? Okay. Uh, we want the key origin. That is fine. There we go. And now we can go ahead and do our pattern. It will be a rectangular pattern. And we're going to move features because again it's a feature not a bug we want to go in that direction we want to do a quantity of four and we want to do the the spacing which i remember from last time should be 43 millimeters uh, but i have to do it the other way which is totally fine did Grant do it right? I gotta get rid of this sketch is gonna throw me off. I don't know if I did. It looks like I did. Pretty sure it's 43 millimeters. That's what we're gonna go with. Now if we bring back this base and I click right on here. Yep. It's even. Right? Yes. Yes, because the circuit board isn't even on at all but th these are even numbers apart which is what we were going for we want the circuit boards to be in the same spots every single time all right so we have that now uh we are going to bring back our bottom so we can see that now we actually have a cavity and that cavity is where things are going to go no not the kind of cavity you get at your dentist or that you go to your dentist for we're going to press pull on this. What the press pull tool does versus the extrude, the press pull will actually look at your edges and make sure to keep everything aligned, okay? And so when I pull up, you'll notice that it doesn't go dead straight. It actually takes into account the angles that we're working with here. Now, I'm gonna grab my Osmo Pocket and I need to make certain that we don't come up too far. If we look on the Osmo Pocket itself, I and mean, I need to bring up Discord, they're not Discord, uh, OBS so I can see it. We'll look at the Osmo Pocket, we only have a little bit of space until we start running into the buttons. So we're going to grab our caliper and we're going to find out where that lands us. So let's do that right now. I feel like such, a, such an idiot for missing to schedule the freaking live stream, man, like, come on. Okay, we're fine. It's about 27 and a half millimeters. So as long as we keep this entire height less than 27, 
We are absolutely fine. We don't have anything to worry about here because we're not going to impose on anything. Uh, so we're good. 15 should be more than enough. If we And now we can go back and we can measure our overall height. Our overall height is 25. It's a little bit close. So you know what? Let's bring this down to... I'm going to go 10. I want to have more room than I probably... Oh, but you know what? 15 is totally fine because I am not measuring from the bottom anymore. I am measuring... So here you go. I don't want... Well, do I? I don't. I want to go back and I want to change this cut. This cut was at like six freaking millimeters. I want to make it like three. And the reason that we want to make it three is all this is going to be is just a base. It's not going to do anything else. It's just going to be a base. Um, we might make it a little bit thicker. And now that I think about it, let me grab some M3 hardware. Oh, this is a stretch and it hurts. Ow. Okay. All right. I got my bucket of hardware here. I got to I got to grab an M3 screw out of here. Because I want to make it at least... I want to use M3 hardware to hold everything together. And to do that, I need to figure out some measurements on the M3 hardware. So, let's get that. What we want to figure out is how deep the head of an M3 bolt is. Okay, I get that I have a game-ready driver. Go away. I'm streaming, GeForce. Jeez. Alright, it's 2.93. So we want to have we want to have it have at least a millimeter worth of meat here, uh, and to do that, we'll need to make this probably four. Is that going to be enough? Let's go to five. I'm not changing it as much as I thought I was. Now we're going to have one other issue because of the way that uh, I designed everything. Where's the cut? <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, so. When we did the base, and I'm going to need to go back to this extrude here. We did an offset of 6 millimeters. Now I need to change it to an offset of 5 to actually hit the base here. I don't think there is an easy way for us to lock this into whatever we cut. But if there is, somebody will let me know, I'm sure. Are you okay over there? Yeah? Alright. By the way, if you guys are joining us, uh, we did a really cool piece from the DC Universe. Thanks uh, to Wexter for making this beautiful model. That is going to be our time lapse for tomorrow. Uh, that is Starro the Destroyer, I believe is what it is called. Uh, and I won't give you any more about that. Go watch Suicide Squad 2. Uh, all right, so we got enough room for our board. USB-C is gonna stick out at the top. So what we wanna do is we wanna measure from here to here, which is 17 millimeters pa lenty Lenty. We're good. Alright, we can get rid of the bottom again because we don't need that where we're going. Um, so we have room for our circuit boards, but now we gotta make room for all of our wires. So we want to, we're gonna make a new sketch. It's just gonna make things a little bit easier. That way I don't have to deal with any of the offsets anymore. And it might have been easier for us to do that from the beginning. I didn't. Oh, well, this is where we're at. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to project this entire surface because that's what we need. Um, and now we're going to start designing some things. So I want to have some channels. So we're going to create a rectangle. There's going to be a center rectangle. And I want to have big channels for my wires to run it and these wires will need to run effectively all the way out to there thank you g-force i love you oh so much so 27.2 by oh let's see uh we do nine can we do nine yeah we can do nine that should be fine because what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it room we're gonna give it room to move all the wires basically is what we're going to do here all right, so nine by 227, perfect. Um, and I'm actually going to take this sketch, I'm gonna finish it, and I'm going to move it back before the uh, the pattern, and you're gonna see why in just a minute when I'm done with all this. So I'm, I'm gonna pattern everything out at once. Uh, now, I don't know yet where the wires are going to come out, 
Oh, I need to. I need to have. I, I need to have the pattern before. I will have to do another pattern. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, I need to make sure that we have enough room between the circuit boards. But yeah, I want it because I want the boards to line up. Why are you doing this to me today, Fusion 360? I'm sure it's got something to do with my computer being very upset with me. Yep, no surprise there. No surprise there. Also, I want to wish Julia, who is our director of uh, social media and all that, she handles our advertising and everything, a wonderful rest of the month off. She is heading overseas, um, and uh, she wanted me to look over some copy, but I am streaming, so I guess I'll handle it without her. <laughs> uh, oh, well, it's my fault for not looking at it earlier. So I'm looking at this right now, and I'm thinking these might be a little bit too close. We only do need two wires, but if we look at the space that we have, we only have nine millimeters in between everything. Now I could probably get away with some six millimeter channels. It might work. That's probably what we'll do. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do six millimeter channels. Um, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna move this so that the sketch occurs before all of that because we know that we can only come out six millimeters. So we're gonna grab an R for our rectangle. Oh my gosh. So much of a pain in the butt. Here. That is that is going to drive me up the friggin' wall. We want six millimeters by probably 18. That should be fine. Yeah. But you know what? We can just come down here and actually attach it. Because we want to give ourselves a channel for our wiring. We am actually... We don't need much. We're, we need a little bit of material for the circuit board to align itself in with. So 7.5 will give us, hopefully, enough room for all of that. Cool. Uh, and... If we have this centered, I want to have my distance between here and here. Let's have that distance be 9. That should give us enough space. We're then also going to make collinear this edge to that. This bug is really upsetting where it ought work just goes black and it's doing the same thing for me that it's doing for you guys. So I apologize for that. I can't It's my computer. It's not as happy as it could be because it's running a very spicy overclock. And we're live streaming and all of the other things that make computers mad. But, oh well. Alright, so we've got our part there. Beautiful. Now when we go ahead and do all of this. Oh, that's not a stream friendly song. Good lord have mercy. I'm going to get rid of that one. Wow, that's not stream friendly. That's why we can't have nice things. Uh, freaking monster cat. Don't do that to me. I've been nice to you. Get off my stream playlist. <laughs> All right, let's finish this off. So there we're good. We're going to go ahead and do an extrude from here. We're going to get rid of the sketch because the sketch is going to get in the way. Beautiful. And this extrude needs to occur before the, uh, Thing. There we go. Oh, I messed up. One more time. Oh, I gotta do it before the mirror, too. Jeez. Okay. Wow. Alright. There we go. Now everything should be right. So what this does is it's going to give us, with this last sketch, which is here... I think it's minus three is what we did. A channel to run all of our wiring. And that is what I was going for. So 
wiring channels. Beautiful. So now we can run all of our wiring through. Now, of course, the more we come through, the worse it's going to get. It's going to be bad. Uh, now, I've got enough up here and here. We don't have to have this side of the circuit board aligned. The other three sides will keep it aligned. I'm not too worried. Uh, but what we do need to do is we need to come in here and we need to fill it the sin out of everything. And you know what? We can roll all of this back a little bit and do the fillets here. Because the one thing you don't want with wires is sharp edges. That's a really, really bad move. Uh, so let's just add a one millimeter fillet to it. Let's go two. Can we get away with two? Can totally get away with two. Now, I'm guessing yeah, it's not going to transfer it. So there we go. We go to this. Is it going to transfer it? It will. Beautiful. Oh, it didn't. Uh, hold on here. You... All right, we're just we're gonna do that, uh, and I guess we okay. We have to add in these features, I guess. Cool. We've got that now. Everything is right. Beautiful. No. Wh why? Why? There. Are all our things okay? Now we're good. Um. We will have to fill it some of these manually. There's just not much we can do to get around that, which is okay. We're going to leave that sharp edge there because all the wires are going to be going through here. I hope this is enough. It's only two wires each, so hopefully it's fine. Okay. There we go, that'll give us our channel for our circuit boards and all of our wiring. Now I don't know yet how we're going to do this. We might just end up doing one big drop-in board that has all of this stuff where it belongs and then a bus to come up and through because it's bussing, of course. Oh, somebody is going to roast me in comments for that. Ah, uh, see, this is the fun of doing like live streams, you can't, like say, well, that was just a stupid thing to say, Grant. Why would you ever say that? Uh, you, you can't, you can't do that on a live stream. That's not how that works. Uh, we're gonna give ourselves enough room here. It would be useful if I had some JST pins, but I don't. I don't think I do. And of course, I know where my JST pinouts are. They're outside. Uh, oh, they're not. Okay. I can see them. I will be right back. I'm going to go grab my JST. Cause I'm going to make this so we can plug in a JST header, which allows all this to be easily pulled apart. I'll be right back. And he's back! Uh, just had to scoot over to get them. Um, Alright, so if you all watched our TV repair video, you're no, you know what I'm getting. I am getting my Hiltichi, because that's a brand name. Uh, Hiltichi 2.54mm JST pins. Show you guys what these look like. This is what we're going to be using. This little tiny thing. Little tiny thing here. Okay. And I don't know if these can handle the power, so let's let's find that out. Because if they can't handle the power, then we're pretty much there, right? Uh, power handling. I want to make sure that we can put, an, you know, like, that we don't put too many amps through this thing. Uh, let's see. 
2.54, yeah, they're only good for 2 amps. Um, at 250 volts. I want to know their wattage. Their wattage is what's important to me. Um, techni yes, technically this is all the DuPont connectors. Um, how much can you run through a DuPont connector? Because I, I don't want to put too much through this, right? I really, I don't want to burn these up because we're going to probably be running something like, yeah, three amps, Death, uh, that's definitely not going to work. What we could do, which might make more sense, is run a few of them and actually run power through it all. So if we do parallel connectors, you know, let's say we do something like, you know, a, uh, I don't know, four by four, so 16 total connectors, and we run two amps through a pair, right? That means we can run something along the lines of 16 amps through one wire. And the reason I want to do this versus um, something else, I want this to be re replaceable and removable. If we don't use some style of connector, oh, dude, use XT30s, come on, Grant, oh my gosh. Why, why I even thought of using JSTs is beyond me. We're going to use an XT30. I have XT30s laying around. Let's go to GrabCAD real quick. Let's get XT30s. Oh, I got to log into GrabCAD. So I'm going to hide my... I'm going to bring up Big Grant real quick while I log into GrabCAD. Because uh, GrabCAD uses my personal email. And uh, we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that. Uh, so, all right, we're good to go. Let's get rid of Big Grant, and um, let's. Uh, oh, that's cool. They put the uh, upside down printer on GrabCAD. Dope. Let's get an XT30. XT30s would do exactly what we need us to do. I want to get the XT30 male and female from the same person. So we'll grab them both from this guy. IPT, that's inventor. Eh, it should work. Should work. Oh, you're going to give it to me in a zip file. Oh, fine. I'll, I'll just download it from here. Coming to Fusion, we're going to upload. Nobody judge me on all the crap I have opened. Inventor part files, beautiful. Just waiting for stuff to load in. XT30 makes complete sense here. Uh, and what we'll do is we will create, um, we'll create holes in here in the board itself that will actually solder in a direct XT30 connector or we can just solder in some wires for an XT30 connector. I don't think we're gonna have the space for an XT60 but we can find out. I wonder if there is a panel mount XT30. Or board mount, I guess. Is that a thing? Okay, well, that's how they're doing it for boards. Oh, of course, we got one from Out of Darts. Love Out of Darts. Okay. That's a good price, too. Noted. Let's see. Okay, that's just a plate for them, and I am not paying that price. I will make my own PCBs for less. But this is effectively what we're going for, but just with an XT30. XT30 will be more than enough for what we're doing in this case, so I'm fine. Let's open back up Fusion here. Our XT30s are in there. I'm going to do um, XT30 male. And the only reason we're going to use male in this case is I don't want, if you drop a piece of metal in, female both, or are both pins exposed on the female connector? I don't know, I think they are. Yeah. Um, you know what? I have XT30s. Let me just go grab my XT30s. I'll be right back.
absolutely love having that be right back thing that we have. And yes, okay, so by the way, I'm gonna pull out XT30 so you guys can see how tiny these things are. They're so tiny. These, this is an XT30 male and female connector. They are so freaking tiny. But if we look on the female connector, the pins are exposed. And we don't want that. So, well, I guess they are kind of exposed here too. The male should have less problems. Um, but I guess it really doesn't matter ultimately at the end of the day. And the nice thing about XT30s is they really do lock in. They're keyed so they can only go in one way. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter which one we use. Mail will probably be easier in the long run, I think. I'm gonna insert this into our current drawing. I'm gonna come up here. I'm going to completely roll around like that. I'm gonna move you down. Homie, am I like basically right where I need to be for this? Yep. Love it! Absolutely love it. Cool beans. Alright, so we'll have to make our channel a little bit wider, but I'm not worried about that. We'll make it wider right at the end, um, where we have definitely way more space. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll have the XT30 basically sticking out. Let's roll this around 180 degrees, because I definitely had it in the wrong way. And then let's bring it up and inside the component, just like that. Cool! Done. All right, we're going to go back, and this I need to have brought in all the way back here. The reason that I want to move the XT30 to be brought in way back there, so when I go to this sketch, the XT30 is still there. What I can do is I can actually turn off the plate that we're building and uh, we can just build a big rectangle around this. So we're gonna build a rectangle. Something like that should give us plenty of space. Uh, hey Nadav, how you doing buddy? Uh, we're going to project some stuff from the XT30 connector, which is primarily that. 7.62. We're using XT30s, my dude. We were going to be doing 2.54s, but we can't get enough power through them. Um, so we'll use XT30s. They should be more than fine. So what we want to figure out is the distance between here and here. 5.182. Of course, it is hyper-specific. Wait, what? No. I want to get rid of that. I want a dimension between this and this. Five and a quarter. Okay, so it's five and a quarter. Uh, and so if we make this... Let's see. The actual length of, a, of one of these is... Ten and a quarter. Great. I love this. These are so easy. No five, five, six. Uh, these are... It's just a 30 cal ammo can. They're just a 30 cal ammo can. Um, so you could put whatever, you could put 762, 556, whatever you want in it. I'm putting a bunch of cameras in it. Um, specifically DJI Osmo Pockets because they fit in there beautifully and this will allow us to charge and, you know, kind of quick grab all of our cameras as needed. So no firearms stuff. YouTube doesn't like any of that. Oh, Okay, yes, I even said that in the thumbnail pic that it was a 7.62 can, and uh, we, we just we just pulled an ammo can image from the internet. I even said it's also a metal ammo can, which I wouldn't use. Yes, US is using 5.56 NATO, you can use 7.62 by 39 or uh, 5.56 by 23, right? I don't, I don't know how long a 223 is, or a 5.56, uh, five, five, but it's 5.56. Five, five, um, no, these, it's actually a 30-30 ammo can if we want to get really specific. Uh, so, yeah, there, it's a plastic ammo box, man. It's a thumbnail. Just cut me some friggin' slack. <laughs> uh, 
Um, all right, so five and a quarter. We want to bring ourselves out to probably... I don't know. I want to give it enough room on all the sides. Probably, yeah, probably ten. I would do this in like a 50 cal can, but I know it's going to get way too heavy. Uh, so that is what I am attempting to not do. So I want to do a line, but I want it to be a construction line. And I want to do it in the middle of this. Beautiful. And what we can do is we can take uh, this and do a midpoint. Dang, that's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. All right, I'll just do a point. It'll just be easier. Point there. What we want to do is we want to we want, we want to align it. I think I can just do this by hand. Uh, would coincident work? Yeah. Okay, coincident works. All right, Grant, you're an idiot. And that will give us how much distance between it. Because what I want to do is, uh, all right, let's also get rid of this line, because this line is stupid. I want a dimension between here and here. I want to see what distance that we're dealing with. So 2.375. So I want to go D from here to, whoop, dang it. Here to there. And uh, we're going to do 2.375. That way it is the same on all ends. Now what we can do here is we can just click that, and then if we ever update this, it'll also update the bottom one. So that's gonna give us a nice even amount of space all along the edges of it. So that's good for me. We're gonna bring back the X8 piece. We're gonna hit the extrude command. We're going to extrude all of this, uh, just all of that, including this. We're going to extrude it all the way through. I want it gone. Uh, let's hide the XT30 for right now. Beautiful. So now I have our XT30 that's in there. It should be nice and easy for us to get it. A little bit of wiggle room for everything else to easily fit. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right. So that covers hopefully our wiring. Uh, I sure hope it does. We might end up having a custom board here. If we do, I will change this later on, but I won't know any of this until we get all of our circuitry done. Um, we're going to try to use as little PCB as possible. Um, so we, we will see. And this is great, because like that's, that's kind of just the amount that you want. You want this to be set in a little bit, that's four millimeters, 4.4 millimeters. That's really, really clean. I like that. That's gonna look beautiful. This gives us a good way to keep the Osmos nice and stable. I like that. Let me get a drink of water. Oh man. Hot here. Trying to give a little bit more music without blowing everybody out here. All right, let's keep figuring out. Let's see what's going on. Um, somebody asked, somebody DM'd me on Discord. What? No, somebody just DM'd me on Discord to see my brother and I together, but my brother is at his day job. Um, but yes, I have an identical twin for those that don't know. You can go check out uh, the Father's Day episode is still my favorite when my brother joins us. Um, yeah, you can go check out our Father's Day episode, but yeah. Hey, hope you're watching. Leave a like while you're at it <laughs> and get subscribed. Uh, but yeah, okay. I, and I don't have a lot of pictures of us together. Um, yeah, I don't. 
Uh, but if you look on our YouTube community, there is a family photo that has all of us together, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's uh, let's work that out. And yes, uh, Nadav, I prop, I, I will if if you remind me, you know my Discord. If you remind me, I will change the thumbnail so it uses a 30 caliber can because I agree it should be fixed. Because, you know, specifics matter. Specifics matter. All right. Uh, I want to have a little bit of a chamfer here, but we don't have a ton of space. How much space are we working with? Right. It's a degree measurement because it's angled. Two millimeters. Oof, that's... That's thin. That's real thin. You know what? I'm going to move this back some. And I'm curious. I wonder if... If we roll back to here, actually it won't matter. We're going to roll to here where this thing came in. And I'm going to move it. I want to move a component. I want to move it just a little bit in. Give myself a little bit more meat there. I'm giving it like five millimeters worth of clearance, but like, you know, three millimeters overall, John. So my brother says I would give more room to the XC30, XC60 because some plugs are bigger than others. Uh, I stole some of yours, John. <laughs> um, and it, it appears that they match up just fine. My brother likes quadcopters and is into them quite heavily. Um, Oh yeah, you know, this one is bigger. So this is 10.75, where the CAD model is 10 point, or is uh, 10.25. The width is the same though, so that's okay. That's okay. But I notice, yeah, I'm pulling off the bottom. Huh, yeah, interesting. I didn't know that they would be different like that. I'm gonna give more room between the edge though. I, I want it to, two millimeters is probably fine. So if we go all the way out here, is thing, are things going to break? No, they're going to update. Wait, will they? No, I don't think they do. Did I not... When I did the move, I don't think I captured history, did I? I bet I didn't. They also make waterproof ones. We're not going to need that, I don't think. I want to move a body. I want to move this body. Or, sorry, component. I want to move a component. I didn't capture position like a ding dong. There, I got to capture that position. Now when I go through, everything else should load up the way that it was, which it absolutely does. That now gives us 2.85, which is plenty of clearance. That is more than we need. Um, yeah, I think I've got a fair bit of room here. Yours are a little bit longer, um, but that's okay. It just won't look as pretty as this one does. I mean, I can give it more. I just don't want to give it too much. Like, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm kind of fine with this. Yeah, I, I'm... I think we'll have enough room here. And an XT30 should be enough for this. Where the main batteries connect into this to do all the charging, that's going to be an XT60 most likely. Um, just because I want bigger connections. I want to keep them smaller. Where we can afford the small ones. And the XT60s are just easier to work with. The next thing that we want to do is we want to shell out some of this area so it gives us room to store things. Remember, we're going to be putting things like... Oh, and I got some new microphones. So, normally we record with the Tascam DR05. This is my normal, like, uh, microphone that we talk into. And for those that don't know, the lav mic that I wear, we do record from it. It is the Tascam DR10L. However... We don't always use the audio from it because I'm very loud and sometimes I peek that microphone. This thing actually sits above me out of the shot and this is normally the audio that we use. But I recently bought some Zoom H1Ns. I got them used, which means they were really cheap. 
Um, and so I want to make sure that if we're bringing our Osmo somewhere, that I've got enough room for my microphones. If I don't have enough room for batteries, that's totally fine. I'm going to carry battery banks separately. But making sure that I have a place to put all of my microphones is really important when we're doing recording like this. So let's, I'm going to work first with the DR-10L. Um, but I mean, first things first, we need to go ahead and create a sketch. I'm going to turn off that sketch, create a sketch right on that. We're going to go ahead and project some stuff, which is going to be all of that goodness. Beautiful. Now we are going to, I'm going to make a pocket, I guess, for this. Now I have to deal with the fact that I've got this big, uh, bushy dead cat on the top of it. No, no, it's not Victoria. Don't worry. Greenfield's here. Greenfield's here. Um, this, these are called dead cats in the industry, but they're, they're wind filters basically. And it keeps air wind noises from coming out. Just like a pop filter, pop, 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 pop. Keeps the peas from peaking my microphone. Uh, this keeps a lot of the wind noise down from on set. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, figure out our dimensions. So our Tascam DR-10L, is this? No, okay. Let's see, you are roughly, I'm gonna call you 20, 26 by, 26 by 55. We're gonna call you 26 by 55. Um, I'm gonna just gonna make it a, it should be pretty easy. But let's just make a rectangle. I want to make sure that it fits. So 55 by 26. Dude, it's going to fit great in here. Sweet! Oh, I'm so excited for that. I've been wanting to have storage space for my mics for a while now. And if we can do that, oh man, that'd be so nice. Especially if I can put the Tascam in here. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> like, unreasonably happy, but it makes me happy. Uh, all right, let's get some distances from here to the edge. Uh, if I can do 10, I want to do 10. My preference is 10 millimeters from each edge. That's going to get us a little close. So let's go to seven. It should give us a little more distance away. Um, and I think when you really kind of push this up, seven millimeters should be fine. And of course, because everything is drafted, it won't be too big of a deal. Um, awesome. Oh, I am so excited for this. So excited for this. That's where the task am is going to go. Uh, let's look at the zooms. Now, the zooms are a little bit different because... Um, let me let me pull the windsock off of one of them. I have two of them. I bought two of them. These normally go for like $140 on Amazon. I got the pair for less than a hundred bucks, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Okay. We've got these. We want to make sure that we um, can deal with the chunkiness. So if we look, they're thin at the bottom, but they tend to come up a little bit around the middle. Kind of like me. Kind of like me. Oh, and I am told now the guy wants me to link the stream. Uh, let me link the stream for him. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Get a shareable link. Link copy to clipboard. Beautiful. All right, let's keep working on that. Yes, China. Uh, but also no. All right, let's. Uh, I say all right, let's quite a few times, which is very frustrating to me, but. Whatever, little nervous ticks do that to you. All right, I gotta figure out kind of where she's chunkiest, which is gonna be right about here. 20 millimeters, the width is about the same everywhere. 36.5, so let's do 20 by 36.5. 
36.5 by 20. Sweet, I can fit one in there. Which is good. I want to give enough distance between these. Um, this is definitely going to need some distance because if we look up here, they get very chunky. At its widest point, which I think is somewhere around here. Yeah, they're like 31 width. Um, so I need to give this like 15 millimeters. Um, I'm going to have a dedicated space for the task game, but I think everything else I'm just going to end up... Uh, leaving as open so let's do that i'm just going to leave the rest of it as you know a basin if you will uh so let's go ahead and offset the task cam just a little bit i want to flip that position um let's give let's give me uh let's give me a half millimeter around it i think that should be more than adequate i want to do an offset for this exterior side um i want to come in 2.85 whoops uh, I accidentally hit the enter keys so I want to do a negative 2.85 and if I'm right yep that should align me on there so the exterior edge will be the exterior edge of that now we want to create a line I'm gonna do a uh, what is it a cheese uh, grant uh, construction line. So let me do X again. Let's go with line. I don't know, man. I'm thinking something like, like there. Let me get a distance between um, here and that point. That's only four millimeters. Let me go to five. It makes it a little tight on the task cam, but I think that's going to be fine. Uh, all right, so again, well, I can just make this straight down. I'm going to hit E for extrude. We're going to go down quite a bit, I'm thinking. I guess at this point, I don't even need, yeah, I don't even need the one for the task cam. That's totally fine if we don't have it, because uh, the task cam is just going to fit there. Or do I want it to be steady? Let's make it steady. Let's have some fun. All right, so let's offset this. Uh, I gotta, well, nope. I gotta go back to my sketch. Do an offset. Clearly this thing is not centered amongst anything, but that's totally fine. Yeah, I want my offset to, like, match, I guess, if that makes sense. What I can do instead, uh, I'm going to do L, X. I'm going to find the center point of this rectangle. And that is going to enable me um, to do another rectangle. So I'm going to do a rectangle. It's going to be a center point rectangle. I have to hit X to get out of that. I'm going to bring it right to this edge. Um... as well as I'm going to, uh, actually I'm gonna do a code linear from here to here. Boom. Now we're gonna ignore this bit over here. It doesn't matter for what we're doing. So what we can do now is we can come in and we can extrude all of this. This is the stuff that we want to extrude. I wanna see if I do a press pull and see what happens. Cause it might be cool if we can follow the contour of everything else that's going on. Um, let's see what it looks like to do that. Oh, you're not gonna follow the contour, you're just gonna go straight down. It's gonna do it as an extrude. Which is fine, again, this is 3D printed, this isn't, um, you know, anything else. I should probably go back and offset around this. I don't know. What are you guys thinking, maybe Maybe, uh, I'm going to go with the full two. I was going to go one and a half, but let's go two millimeters. Uh, that's going to suck. You won't be able to fit anything in there, but oh well. That's fine. All right, we'll extrude this, this, and this. 
We're gonna come down, that's 20, so let's go down 15. And that's gonna give us some nice little pockets to store things in. Um, we are going to fill it all the edges where components are going to touch. So this kind of thing we're going to fill it. Uh, is one fine? I'd probably want to go two. Two is good. All right, let's fill it here and here. Here, there, there, and there. Oh yeah, the two millimeter works great there, perfect. Okay. And because we can, I'm gonna fill it these sides as well. Ooh, are you not gonna fill it? Why not? I bet it's because of these. No. Interesting. All right, we'll start that first. Uh, two won't work, 1.5. Yeah, I don't want these to touch. Um, I want a little bit of, of flat space in between them. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do some more fillets here. We're gonna fillet the interior edges of all of this. Hey, if you guys are just joining us, we are making some awesome parts right now. Interesting, so we actually have a fillet that stuck around um, from the uh, the circle there so that's fine no big deal they're not from the circle from the uh, offset that we did no problemo uh, we've got a little bit of space on this so I think that might work I don't want to do nah, I don't want to do it that much we'll fill it in a bit um, and you know what let's fill up the bottom while we're at it can we do that no we can't it won't let us do that all right let's fill at the bottom now let's fill it into one no it's going to be because of that edge so let me go back to my we go back to this, and uh, I'm going to actually come through and lock it all in here. Everything's broken. I kid, I kid. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if it was, to be honest with you. All right, there. That's going to solve all of my problems. When we do our extrude, we're going to come in. We're going to grab that panel. Uh, it's going to mess up our fillets, which is totally fine. Um... It's going to get this a little bit closer to the edge than I prefer. But with this fillet, we should be able to bring it away a little bit. No, we really don't, do we? Because, hmm. like, the edge of that to here is six tenths of a millimeter. Oof. All right, let's go back and let's look at this. Uh... What was our offset on this? 2.85? Oh, because we wanted that to... Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Like, we look between here and here. It's just a fillet. It's no big deal. Um, it'll be a little bit weak up in this top corner, but I don't think I'm worried too much about it. We're going to come back in here. We're going to fill up this by 1.5. Going to make everything look nice and pretty. Beautiful. Ballissimo. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, we can fill up the bottom of this as well. 1.5 should be more than fine. I really want to fill up these edges. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Now, there is still one piece left on the hard parts. We've got to do, um, the top. Let's try one. I can probably get away with one. When we look at the, the DR-10L, uh, it does have some curvature to it. We might be able to get away with a one millimeter fillet. We'll leave it. Um, if we can't, well, we can't. And we mess up. Too bad. <laughs> All right. Hey, John, if you're watching, can you drop a, can you drop a, uh, a, uh, uh, a comment in the chat for me? I don't know if he's around. He uh, he might be out on a truck or doing something. God knows what. Um, 
Okay, let's uh, let's keep moving at this. Hey yo, don't everyone! Everyone's commenting. Let's get some effing chats right now for my bad 3D modeling design skills. Oh, different John. Oh, ha! Now I know who you are. <laughs> I've now figured out who you are. Ah, uh, hi, hi John. <laughs> Oh, all right. Now, now I know which John you are because I put in context clues. Oh, thanks for supporting me, dude. I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't think. Do I have your phone number? I don't. I don't think I have your phone number. <laughs> well, hey man, thanks for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. Damn it, state secrets spilled. Well, guess you gotta go back to trading there, Paul Blart. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait till all, you know, till everyone's vaccinated and we can go back to dancing. I know that people are going back to dancing, but I'm not. I also can't wait until my back is fixed. Gosh, I want my back to be fixed so bad. Because that would be great. I would love to go back to dancing with a fixed back. Do you know what? Now that all this is fixed, I wonder if we could, uh... Yes, we can. All right, I'm going to do this. Because it looks a whole lot better when you do the uh, the angles now versus the angles later. Actually, I'm going to cancel this. We're going to roll all these fillets back. We're going to do just this one fillet. We're going to add edge fillets on all of these at 1.25. Or 1.5. We'll do 1.5. We should be able to do that. Oh, that looks so much better than it did previously. And that's going to give me way more space. Freaking sweet. Now, where was this done? Oh, that was done in there, too. Okay, I'm going to add uh, here, 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 there. One more here of one millimeter. Which I think we should be able to handle. Yeah, that looks so much better. That looks so much better. I gotta go find something real quick. Give me just a second. One second to find things. Let's get back to this bad mamma freaking jamma. Bad mamma jamma. All right, that's a gorgeous. I am, and you know what? We could even put, that's so far down though. I was gonna put like SD card storage in here, but I'm not going to do that. Cause this is like, when you look at the actual ammo box, it's so far down. I'm not reaching that far down. We've got our base, which is going to hold all of our circuitry. What the heck happened? What is going on? Oh, I must have left the holes in all of this. Uh, when's that? Oh, okay. That's no big deal. I'll fix that later. That's probably fine. Honestly, this will leave enough space for any pins or anything that are going to fall through uh, from it. So, I'm cool with that. Awesome. So when we look at 3D printing, I have made it a little bit difficult for myself. Um, Cause something here has to be an overhang and we're likely just gonna have all of this circuit stuff be an overhang cause I want this to look pretty. Although I could overhang all this, it won't hurt me. I don't know, we'll figure it out. From a 3D printing standpoint, this is not the easiest part to make. Oh well. State secrets were spilled, John. <laughs> oh, man. 
All right. I think that kind of covers everything I wanted. I got myself a storage space. Um, does my big... Like, I have a little 10k bank here. Let's see if this fits. About 68 millimeters. Let's see if we have that. If we do, that's awesome. Sixty-four! Dang it, Bobby! <laughs> so freaking close. So freaking close. Oh well. You win some, you lose some, right? keep rolling here. Sorry, I get pinged and I have to go look at things because if I don't, it will bother me. You guys can't see the Discord. I feel you are 70% off curse. I will make it from foam and just make the... I don't seem to print. Yeah, we're not going to 3D print the box. We're not 3D printing this. Um, we could make this from foam, but it's not going to give me the pockets and everything that I'm looking for. And the foam will allow the Osmos to move around. This hard part will keep them from wiggling too much. Um, and Nadav, were you here for the last one? I don't know if you were. But what we're doing is um, we are... Oh, God, the SPC is all the way up there. We are going to make custom circuit boards because the Osmos have a USB-C charging port. We're gonna make custom circuit boards so when we put them into the holder, they're going to slot in and start charging. Um, and it, we can't easily do that out of foam. Now, I might have foam surrounding them right there, kind of shock absorb, but it won't be a ton. Especially because these are very, very close to this. But Nadav, if you want, um, you can, uh, you can either DM me, you have my Discord, so you can DM me on Discord, or you can, um, uh, email us, youtube at 3dmusketeers.com and uh, we can set up a time to talk about it further if you want. You undercut the foam so your Osmo will stick in it. Same one using in toolbox. I could, but if I'm going to do foam, I want to cut it with my laser. And the reason we want to cut the foam with a laser is it, 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 well, it'll be a better cut than I can do by hand. And I can't really angle my laser beam like that. Now I think because it's not accurate, the laser beam is a little angled. Um, but it, it won't have that that angle that you're looking for. I don't want them to be hard stuck in here. The uh, the um, the USB C should give us enough room, and I actually have a little bit of wiggle room here. We're gonna have a laser cut component up at the top, which I still need to design. Um, that is going to hold them right about here. So the gimbals will still be open, and I'm gonna put little caps on them. We'll have 3D printed caps to go over the gimbals. Um, and uh, that's going to keep them from wiggling around. And the laser cut, I can get way more accurate. And if I'm a little small, I just file it to fit. Because it's going to be like, you know, a quarter of an inch thick of acrylic. And uh, I'm also going to end up etching on it. It's it, it's going to be a cool thing. Um, when we do the bigger box, so this is just for, like, use in the shop. So this is like, all right, we're done with our filming. Put all, you know, take all the cards out of the Osmos. Put them all in here. Get it hooked up to a power supply, and let's get it um, charging. Um, we are going to have one that we take out with us when we go places. And it's going to have lithium in it so it can charge everything. And uh, those are going to be probably way more foam and way less 3D printed parts. Um, but if you have a better idea that we can still integrate 3D printed components into... I'd love to know. Um, this is not like a one-way street. I want you guys to uh, have some, you know, activity involved in this because what I think is right is not always correct. I know, ladies and gentlemen, I said it here first. I'm not always right. Don't tell my brother. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see here. And I want to do a custom circuit board project. I've never had the chance to do it, and I want to do one. And I know it's going to be so difficult for me to do it, but I want to do it. Uh, because I want to learn. Because I think learning is really valuable. So 
let's take a look here. All right, we've got all that done. So I think now it actually, oh, and that's, this is what the Osmo base looks like, Nadav. Um, this is my guess. And so I've left a little bit of space between it and the wall. Oh, a half millimeter all the way around? That's a fair bit. Do I want it to have a millimeter worth of play? Really don't think I care. A millimeter in any direction is not gonna matter. Oh, that's right. We're gonna put uh, sticky back felt in this. That's right. We're gonna put uh, we're gonna put sticky back felt, and the felt should kind of really hold it a little bit tighter. I hope, or it won't work. We'll find out. I gotta figure out the the thickness of sticky back felt, which I should have bought for this week, but I forgot. Um, I have to go out on Friday. I've got another injection. Um, so you guys are going to get another, um, uh, vlog. Uh, I don't know when that's gonna come out, but another medical vlog will be coming. Uh, and I bought in, and so this is gonna be fun, so, uh, I really liked the B-roll, but Amber was doing it all by hand. So we bought a, uh, a mount for the Osmo that I can mount it in the windshield, or outside, when I mount it onto the windshield. Um, so that we can just have, like, a, you know, like a dash cam style B-roll for the whole drive. Oh, that might be kind of cool, uh, and we'll do, I think, a hyperlapse. I think these can do hyperlapses. I gotta figure out what the difference is between them. But anyways, um, let's bring the actual ammo can back. Now, if we look at this, we've got an obvious lip. Um, let me bring up Big Grant real quick so we can show this a little bit easier. We've got a lip, okay? I want the, the system to sit well below this. Where? I don't know. So, we need to first figure this out. Let's do that. If we put our Osmo Pocket in, and, you know, I'm gonna set it inside, kinda at a corner, so it... Oh, rip. It's so hard to do this on camera. Okay, I'm gonna do it like that. We're gonna see how far in this is. And then we're gonna subtract five millimeters from that because it should be five millimeters taller than that. It's 57.84. Um, and so if we look from where they should viably hit for the, uh, which is right here, they should be sitting right there um, to the top of the box. 140? That's not right. That's not right at all. I guess it might be. Yeah. So we're 57. Let's see. Actually, let's see. Uh, let me remove the bottom. I want to go from there to here. That's 8 millimeters. So we got to subtract 8 millimeters from that. That makes a nice, cool 50. Um, but we are going to do probably... 48 let I want it to stick if we have it stick up just a hair. Where did I put the freaking Osmo? They're so freaking tiny. I lose them. What's over here? If we look it starts to neck a little bit, so I'm gonna put it at like 45 Maybe we'll get lucky like right there um, So we're going to do a, uh, a Construction plane, but we're gonna do an offset plane. We're gonna do negative 45 Okay That should be should be where everything else lands so we're going to go ahead and uh, we need to probably bring on the Osmo base for the can because I want this to be a dead fit I want this to be very very tight I don't want to have a lot of wiggle room up here I will sand it myself if I have to no leave yourself the wiggle room grant or you're gonna regret it you can always put you could always add material um, we can 3D print very, very tiny pieces, um, in resin if I wanted to. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do that. All right. I'm talking to myself. Ignore me. All right, we're gonna project. But you know what? We can project the base, because the base is way easier for us to project. Actually, no. Let's project all of this. Project that, and project that. Uh, let's do wiring channels. Yeah, wiring channels had all that. 
Okay, you're not gonna give that to me. I'll take what I can get. Okay. Let's uh, let's turn off all of these bodies. Oh, you know what? We also we need to project. I want to project it at my. Ooh, that's gonna be a tough one. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cut the body. I'm gonna cut the body, um, and then I'll, I'll just put it back together when I'm done. So we're gonna split this body. Splitting tool is going to be plane three. And uh, that is going to give me my projection surface that I need. So we're gonna move that back to there. I'm going to project. You can see actually, now, now you can see the draft. That's cool. So we can see uh, the distance between here and there is three freaking millimeters. That's a lot. That's a lot. Cool. All right. We can start removing some of this stuff because it's going to probably end up getting in the way. But whatever. Need sketch knife. Don't need the USB C anymore. Uh, and I probably, yeah, I probably need to have this on. How do you do this? Oh, I do it the same way I did last time. The same way I did last time. I'm gonna make this a quarter of an inch thick. I could 3D print this, but we're gonna laser cut it because it'll be cooler. Oh, that's really thin. Uh, let's do something real quick here. Cancel. I'm gonna make it a larger pocket. Um, so let's go to the extrude key again. Alright, so we're gonna extrude that negative 6.7 millimeters. Which is roughly a quarter of an inch. We're gonna turn on the analysis. Uh, and I actually, so this is, what is this? That's storage. This is the, whoops. I'm naming everything so I don't screw this up. Jeez, come on, man. Right click this. Okay, this is top plate. All right, so we've got that done. We need to do another one, which is here. Gonna project that edge, this edge. That is probably all that we need. Cool. Same deal with the last time. It went as a perpendicular face, which I do not want. Gonna get rid of that. We're going to put on the horizontal command. We're gonna go ahead and finish the sketch. We're going to do a sweep. Gonna grab that. Uh, and the path is that. Ooh, that's not the path we want. That's not the path that we want. We want that path. And I want it to join. But I wanna turn off the ammo box. You are not happy. Why are you not happy? What's going on? I can probably cheat this. Yeah, we'll cheat this. We'll cheat this in post. All right. Turn back on the sketch. Oh, that's not the sketch we wanted. So this is our side profile top. All right, let me do another extrude. I should be able to grab just these spaces that are empty. Uh, okay, maybe I can't. Alright. Uh... Mm, 
I see what's going on. Uh, I can cheat. We're going to do an offset. We'll offset. Um, why are you not letting me offset any of the projected surfaces? Whatever. Everything relies on each other! Dang! Alright, fine. I'll just do another sketch. I mean, that's whatever to me. I'll just do another sketch. Yeah, I want to take... I want to take this surface and, uh, well... You know what? Let's see if we can do it this way. Oh, no, we definitely can't. I messed up. I mean, I don't know where I messed up, but I messed up, so... Oh well. Project it. We're done. All we have to do now is go to E extrude. Click that. Click this. Go to here. Done. Alright. Now if we bring the top of the ammo box back. Uh, this is our... Um, uh, what is this? Uh, what do I want to call this? Oh, and I totally messed up. Oh, crap. Uh, that's not good. I messed up. Uh, hmm. Let me see what to do. I subtracted. I should have... Wait. No, I did it right. Yes. Wait. No, I didn't. Crap. I did it wrong. All right. I got to fix things. Uh, damn it. Uh, ah, uh, crap. Okay, so I did this 45 down... What I should have done is considerably more than that. Uh, it's 57, but it comes up. I wanted to have it down like 55. Not 45, 55. How many things are going to break? Uh, <laughs> what a whiplash of emotion. Yeah, for me too, because I'm like, damn it, I think I did it wrong. Oh, that sucks. How, how thick is that? How thick is this? 0.65 millimeters? Good lord, that's never... Go that's that's gonna suck on the laser. It, Yeah, it's, that's not gonna work. But, uh, whatever. I don't care. Uh, okay. This should be better. So, what I did wrong is... I'm going down a negative, and I actually added rather than subtracted. Um, because, remember... We want, if we go down like the, so it's 57 from the top, but it's eight millimeters from the bottom. So it really makes it 50. Okay. So 50 would get me to right about here, right where the gimbal is. Okay. If I went to 45, I'd be somewhere up here. I need to go to like 55, which takes me to somewhere down here. Um, and I can actually measure all of this. We actually probably want to be at like 65. Um, so let me go back and let me make that change to, like, 65. Or probably... I go up, and I want to come down about 10. So let's go to, like, 62. Let, let's split it. Go to 62. I'm concerned that this is going to be really deep in the box now. Which it definitely is. I mean, the ammo can is really tall. 62 millimeters, for those wondering, is about that much. It's like two and a half inches. It's not that bad, but yes, a mat. It is actually two and a half inches. Huh. All right, we'll go down two and a half inches. It was a whiplash of emotion for me, too, John. Uh, so it, it wasn't just you. It wasn't just you. Mm, I see what's going on here. When we did this, I, actually for the task cam, I want to be here, which would give me more space. That way the task cam fits very, very well. You know what? Let me come back here. Can I? Yeah, I can offset this. Go to hell. One is fine. That's fine. 
and you can fill it sketches, which is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna fill it this sketch here. Uh, I'm gonna fill it at like one, two, one. Yeah, we'll do one. And the constraints are gonna go to hell, but that's okay. Oh, what am I doing? I can, I can just do it here. Right? Yeah, I can just do it there. Oh, my whole life's a whirlwind of emotions, John. A whole damn life's a whirlwind of emotions. But like same though, right? So what we'll do is once we have this done, we'll create a sketch and that is what we use for our text. I want to do. I can do two. We'll do two. There. Now we got a much bigger space. So this is our main storage. That is specifically for the Tascam. Um, and I only have four Osmos. So these are going to be unpopulated anyways. Um, but I think we have like five or six Osmos in the house. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to make another sketch. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, another sketch. He's not joking. Turn on my analysis, make sure everything is not overlapped. Things fit perfectly, which is fine. We want this to go in and really fit in. Then we'll come in with some silicone or something and, and really make it there. Um, I want to turn off all of these things. And I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to combine. I'm going to combine the target body and my tool body. It's a join command. Now they're back to being one again. So I was able to get that laser plate done without a bunch of BS, right? And that's what's important. Now, the one thing we can't do on the laser is bevel the edges, which is going to suck. Um, so maybe I'll end up 3D printing this. I don't know. I'd like to laser cut it. It might be a cool thing. By the way, um, Lightburn just dropped version 1.0. I'm gonna try to have that video out on Friday, but I have a feeling it's gonna be Monday's video because we have an update from Chi2 Box, and I think that makes more sense for Friday's video. Which means, yes, we're going to film and edit and post a video in three days. Hi, Andrew, thanks for all your help. Alrighty, uh, we got that, so let's do another sketch just on the top of this here. Um, we're going to project all of this because we're going to need that where we're going. And we want to start doing all of our text. Now, if we notice, we're not going to be able to name these two Osmos, but I'm just going to name these first six. Kind of is what it is, right? I wanted more space, so I won't have an... Well, I guess I could do the Osmos here. Boom, 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 boom. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Create text. We'll go from here to here. Nice and simple. Now, this might be a little bit tough just to get the spacing correct, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to do it together. Ossifont, as you do. So, this is... I probably want to do 8, 7, 6... Well, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, this is Osmo 8. Osmo 8. Let's make this probably 5 millimeters. Oh! Osmo... That's perfect. Alright, looks like we're going to need two. Nope, that is too much. Uh, but we can cheat. We can... Oh, nope, I want to align them to the middle like that. We can look at making our text maybe to six. Nope, five is where we want it to be. Okay, this is where the fun part comes in. You know, Grant... Let's cancel that. We're going to do them one at a time. We're going to create text. We're just going to create them from here to here. Like, real simple. Osmo 8, Osmo 7. Uh, we are going to align them both vertically and horizontally. We're going to do Ossifont. And we're going to make these 5 millimeters. Which would be fine. Now, if I'm going to open the box... Yeah... That's how I want them to be like that. 
right? If I have it in the ammo can, I guess it really doesn't matter. I can set it whatever way I want. Yeah, that's fine. I'll set it whatever way I want. Because I can do what I want. If we go to six, what happens? It's going to force things separate lines, won't it? Yep. Five. I am totally fine with this. Like, I'm totally fine with that. I think it's going to look really dope on the laser. We just got to keep doing that over and over. I'm going to turn off the origin because it is getting in the way. Osmo 6, Osmo 5, and apparently, there, Osmo 6, Osmo 5, uh, another bit of text here, Osmo 4, Osmo 3, whoops, boom, and then Osmo 2 and Osmo 1. Grant, you did it backwards again, you dingus. But oh well. That's gonna be one of those fun things that, like, you're gonna look at for the rest of your life and hate. Yeah, so I should have, uh. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. I guess I can start from the bottom. That's gonna forever piss me off. Do we fix it? Yeah, we fix it. We do, because it's gonna bother me for the rest of eternity and I, I I need I need my sanity like I need my sanity for this and it's not that bad of a fix sanity is important ladies and gentlemen and I need to make sure that I keep mine especially because I'm about to have another needle put in my spine on Friday by the way it's gonna be another caudal injections um, because you've seen it once before, we may opt to not show you, you know, my blurred ass on camera again. <laughs> ah, fun things that I do for my YouTube channel. Ooh, we could have done them on the outside. Mmm, girl, that would have been nice. But I didn't think about it, so we're doing it this way. We're not you're not gonna be able to see him anyways. The the gimbals are gonna block everything, so. It's no big deal. Maybe we'll put covers on them that way. I don't know. I don't know yet. This is still a work in progress, okay? But does my butt get clicks? I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, and talking about clicks, I am still, like, that TV repair series I thought was going to do very well, because it's, it's like, it's a maker video. Well, lo and behold, YouTube doesn't recognize us as a maker channel yet. We are a 3D printing channel. And, uh, that means that, well, that video doesn't do very well. So this would be the piece that we laser cut out, if you believe in yourself hard enough. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna go in there and, like, yell and cuss on camera. I'm not gonna make it fake, right? My pain is real. You guys see me kind of shuffling and moving in my chair, because I am very uncomfortable right now. But it's just kind of what we do for the YouTube, so make sure you leave a like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's let's get our back plate. Let's get our bottom. Like, there you go, guys. There's our ammo box. There's our analysis so you can see on the inside. Uh, this is laser. Turn off our sketches. That, I think, is our final part. Now, of course, you can't see the words on here. I have to turn that on for you to be able to see the words. Um, but I really, really, really like this. So, I think we're going to move forward with this. Uh, there are all your pieces, individual. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I think we're going to end this one here because it is almost 2 p.m. And that means it's time for a premiere. Uh, so, if you guys want to hang out with us for a few minutes longer... At 2 p.m. Eastern Time, we are going to be doing the Wash and Cure Plus Un... Oh, it's not the unboxing. It is the hands-on. I reviewed that video this morning. And if you like NFTs, you're going to like this video. Because um, there's an NFT in the video. Well, I mean, it's funny because it's not an NFT anymore. It's made fungible because it's a 3D printed NFT. So, like, at that point, now it's fungible. 
I don't know how this stuff works. I'm not an expert. This is why we have John. Not my John, but the other John. I know you know a ton about NFTs. But anyways, I'm gonna end this one here. Um, I need to move because my back hurts a lot uh, and I don't like moving on camera. Hi, John. There's Tars, man. Alright, I'm done. Uh, part's done. You missed all the fun, guys. I will see you all at 2. Uh, have fun out there. Stay safe. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one.